Hello everyone, AFC Finners here. We're back in Birmingham again, returning to Villa Park after our recent visit. Today we will be seeing Aston Villa women against Man City women in the Women's Super League. It's a huge day for the channel and for the Women's Super League as the season has its opening weekend. It's a huge season for the Women's Super League as the popularity has grown hugely thanks to Women's Euros. We're going to be seeing a lot of stars on the Euros. Aston Villa have Rachel Daly. Man City have the likes of Alex Greenwood, Lauren Hemp, and of course the legendary Chloe Kelly. Cannot wait, I've been looking forward to this one for ages to see some of the superstars and help the women's game continue to grow as it has this year. On our way to Villa Park, about 10 minutes walk or so. Here we are again. Lovely. Well, we've been <laughs> quite close to a few England legends already. Sadly, didn't get to meet them, but um, it's not the end of the world. Um, I was racing out of my chest when they were coming out. I think a bit peckish, so I'll get some food. There we go, nice veggie dog. Looks lovely. Delicious. So in the fan zone, we've got another star of the Euros here shortly. Jill Scott is doing a Q&A at 12.30. Legendary midfielder who played for Man City, Everton and Aston Villa, amassed over 150 caps for England and recently retired with her career being capped off in style as she played in the final as England lifted the Euros. It'll be very good to see her in the flesh. So I just spotted Jill Scott signing autographs where the players entered. So she'll be up there shortly, but look behind me. So many people are here for the opening day of the WSL season. This is so exciting. The future is bright. We'll see her shortly. Can't wait to hear some stories that she'll tell. How many interviews do you think you've done? A lot. I even had a voice. I will blame singing Sweet Caroline for about five weeks after the win. And then because I've had interviews to do, I literally have not had a voice for however long. So, yeah, but I, I don't mind. I don't really need to talk now. <laughs> What a lovely thing that was to see the legendary Jill Scott, such an endearing, inspiration, iconic figure in the history of football. And as you can see just there, taking the time to meet so many fans, get pictures of so many kids, what well, a down to earth, big hearted person, and plenty of people in that crowd will be inspired to take up football, I'm sure. But now, the time has come to enter Villa Park once again, but before we do, let's find out a little bit about today's hosts, Aston Villa Woman. Aston Villa Women were formed in 1973 as Solihull FC. Aston Villa asked for help in forming a ladies team in 1989 and Solihull responded, agreeing to change their name to the Villa Aztecs and becoming the official female team of Aston Villa. They lost in the 1995 League Cup final and were playing the 95-96 Premier Division but suffered relegation. After being renamed as Aston Villa Ladies, they returned to the top flight once more, but would suffer relegation again both times. Having fallen to the third tier, they achieved promotion to the second division in 2011, and in 2013 won their first major trophy when they defeated Leeds in the final of the League Cup. They spent many years in the second tier, but achieved promotion back to the top flight in 2020. They remain there to this day, hoping to make strides of further success in the future with the acquisition of England's Euro star Rachel Daly. Overall, they have won four Northern Premier League titles, one League Cup and one Championship title. And a bit of trivia, their Swiss winger Alicia Lehman is in a relationship with Aston Villa men's Brazilian midfielder Douglas Luiz. So those are our hosts, Aston Villa Woman. Let's have a look inside their home for today, Villa Park. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to Villa Park today. Exciting WSL action in store for season eight. Aston Villa versus Manchester City. So I'm in my seat, a bit further down from when we were here recently, but most importantly, I've got my cuisine. In honour of the North and the Jill Scott, chips and glaive here for the world's best combinations.
Well, midway through the first half, and Villa have taken the lead. Alicia Lehman, their right winger, who's been one of the best players on the pitch, has tucked it into the bottom corner. Man City had more of the ball, but Villa have taken the first significant chance. 1-0. So they got one back, ball shot, it's spilled out of the keeper's arms into the net. It was weird because I thought it had been disallowed because the crowd barely did anything. But yeah, City got a goal back, could be a turning point. <laughs> Half time and Villa lead Man City by two goals to one. Man City were, had more of the ball before Villa scored, but after that, the heads just dropped. And because of that, Villa were able to never second. It's going to be a very interesting second half because if Man City gets stern talking to, they've got the attacking force of Lauren Hemp, but we'll have to see. The Man City were poor with the chances they had, and they've only scored because of a fluke. But we'll have to see. Either Man City turn around, make it 3 2, or Villa hold out, I think. Half time, Aston Villa 2, Manchester City 1. City have levelled it, corner came in and Ford's headed it in off the post. Much more convincing goal than the last one. This, this one's gone in. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 2-2, two, two, game on. Only minutes after levelling it, City are now in front. Chloe Kelly's crossed it in and Laura Coombs has curled it into the top corner to get her second. And City's third. I had a feeling this would happen. Come back complete 3 2. And there's still over 30 minutes to go. Could well be even more goals to come. Kenza Dali, it's either short, it's deflected, and it's looped in. 3-3, three, three, anyone's game. <laughs> Villa ducked in front, 4-3, a terrific counter-attack. Lewis Ball's gone off the keeper, and Rachel Daly has tapped it in to get a second. 4-3. 14 minutes to go. What a game to open the season for Aston Villa. Fair play to them, they lost their 2-0 lead and a lot of teams were folded and had the floodgates open, but they came back after losing their lead and stole it back from Man City. Both teams in brilliant performances. Aston Villa stole it because they were the more clinical, one of the most clinical performances I've ever seen. Really we've had a 4-0 Manchester United win and now we've had this, a ringing endorsement for the Super League as it continues to grow. Full time, Aston Villa 4, Manchester City 3.
just get to the bottom. Well, <laughs> goodness me, what an incredible afternoon of football to start off the new Super League season. I've had an absolutely fantastic time. After Villa scored, I just couldn't stop smiling like I did at Nottingham Forest. That's generally one of the most pleasant match day experiences I've ever had. I've been to over 150 games, so I don't say it lightly. All these people that have come here, the momentum women's football has got hasn't died off. And you know, 6,000 people came here. That might not seem like a lot, but you know, so much more than have been coming to women's games before. And you know, all these players who have grown up watching the Premier League on the TV, thinking they'll never get the chance to play in stadiums like this. But now they can, and they'll be able to do so plenty more times. Absolutely wonderful atmosphere. So many games I go to, there's so much toxicity, and it can be really unpleasant. But even here, when there were mistakes like for Man City's first goal, it was a hell from the keeper, but people weren't saying, you effing this and that. They were saying, you know, keep your head up, keep going. And it's so refreshing to have that. And this is just the beginning. Seven goals, not quite the AFC Finners record, but considering I paid a tenner for the ticket today, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, so I've seen the likes of Chloe Kelly, Lauren Hemp, Rachel Daly, and seen Jill Scott today. It's a big day. Everyone here all day has had, they've had smiles on their faces, and I've absolutely loved it. Decided to finish the day in one of the best pubs in the world, Bacchus, in Birmingham city centre. Got my Beaver Town neck oil. It's a lovely medieval themed bar under, underground in Birmingham, one of the best places on earth. I'm going to leave the signing out to someone that I'm sure my subscribers have missed. You've not seen him for a while. Juvendowski, take it away. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to AFC Finnis. Catch you later.